Hi everybody, welcome back to the Silver Crown. I'm Patricia and this is my husband Chris. And today we are preparing his hair for a wash tomorrow. Now if you've seen our other videos um, where I was working on his hair, <clears throat> we're trying to reduce <laughs> we're trying to reduce the thinning that uh, I saw was going on. And so I've started doing things like trying to treat his hair with uh, coconut oil. I'm using Western Family Organic Virgin Coconut Oil, uh, hexane free, cold pressed. Uh, let's see, I don't know if you could see that. Probably not. Okay, there you go. So that's what I'm using on his hair. Now, his head started itching last night. So I put a little oil on it, but I mixed it with uh, some peppermint oil. So now I'm in the process of detangling his hair and I'm finger detangling. I'm just using my fingers and going through his hair and trying to separate it out uh, for any tangles. And even though it has oil in it, it still has a few tangles in it that I'm working out with my hand. And uh, it's better to do this if you can to minimize stress on the hair follicles, right? If you're, hair, if you're shedding and you don't really know why you're shedding, you don't want to put too much tension anyway on, your, uh, on the roots of your hair. So, okay, so I've detangled with my fingers. Now I'm going to use my large tooth comb and go through his hair again. His hair is quite long, as you can see back here. I don't have a swivel chair, so unfortunately he can't turn and me show you this. Okay. And I'm using the pyramid method. If you know, I had mentioned this before, I start out with a large tooth comb and then I work my way down to smaller combs. So I'm going to this comb next in size. And I'm using the larger side of it. Okay. So, and then I'll go to the next smaller side. You want to get you know, the, the object is to try to stop the shedding if it's unnatural shedding, right? So, you know, you watch your diet and all that as well. But also you want to make sure you get any loose hair out because you don't want it to get tangled up in the rest of your hair. So we have some shedding here. Probably can't see that. But anyway. And now I'm going to use my detangling brush. Uh, it might sound like it's tearing through his hair, but it's really not. This is this just the way it sounds. It sounds like that anyway. The bristles are flexible, very flexible. So, but the plastic is hollow, <laughs> so it makes that that sound. Okay, <clears throat> so I have some uh, liquefied coconut oil here, and I'm just going to um, part his hair and start putting the coconut oil into his scalp and on his strands to uh, get it ready for shampooing for tomorrow. And he will have this on his head all night until he shampoos sometime tomorrow. The coconut oil, it'll nourish the scalp, but it'll also break down um, any other oils that are on there help break it down and it'll help uh, it'll penetrate the hair and nourish it and also protect it from any harshness that might be in the water because we you know we are at an RV park you don't really know the quality of the water so I will be doing this for his hair and Probably my own <laughs> when I get finished here. And 
I'm really focusing on the areas that are thinning, like in the top and on the sides there. Last night he smelled like peppermint all night. Tonight he'll smell like coconut. It's getting real tropical around here. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm just working it into his hair. Just turn to the side. Okay. So I'm just working it in. Work it. <laughs> Trying to make sure I get as much of his hair coated as possible with this. You would think that somebody that has a lot of sebum doesn't need this, but uh, also coconut oil is an antifungal and antimicrobial. So if there's something going on beneath the scalp in the way of a fungus or something like that, then this will help eradicate that. So just want to give it a... a Gentle massage. Now they want you to do it for, you know, five or ten minutes. And it would be kind of boring for you to watch for five to ten minutes. And make sure, it's, if you have hair like mine, you want to make sure that you get the very ends of your hair. <clears throat> because that's the oldest hair. This hair at the very ends of his hair is uh, about two years old. I think it's taken about two years for his hair to get this long. Okay, so... Now I'm going to let the oil go to work. I'm going to uh, put his hair up, out of his way, because <laughs> he doesn't like it in his face. And I'm just going to twist it into a, a, a Bantu knot. It's going to be tricky because it's slippery now, but you twist, you know, you twist it and turn and you wrap it around the little knot that starts to appear and you keep twisting it, turning it, twisting, turning as you go. And I will let you pin that because I don't want it to uh, want to stick you in the head. stick you in the head now so now hopefully it'll stay because I tell you his hair is like my goodness gracious well kind of well not really <laughs> it's coming out okay hold on let's twist it again here I think he's going to need more than one pin. Okay. I'm not even sure that's going to get it, but... Uh-oh. You know, these pins, I don't like these these pins because they, they fold over on themselves. I think they're designed to do that, but I don't really care for that. Well, that's kind of not going to stay. But anyway, so turn around to the back. That's what it looks like. That's good. I just put that little uh, Bantu man knot there. Hold that. Turn back around. Okay, you guys. So now I'm just going to put this plastic cap on his head for right now. 
uh, just to heat up the oil a little bit. <clears throat> Bag them and tag them. <laughs> Give it a chance to penetrate his scalp. And it won't, it won't be long before he starts sweating under here, so I won't leave it on because you don't want the, the salt necessarily. If you see me on a mortuary slab, you'll know what happened. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie it up. Keep the cap on for about an hour. And he'll sleep like that. Tomorrow, we will shampoo using this Live Clean line. Uh, we're actually just using the clarifying shampoo for him. So, let's see. I'm trying to hold it <laughs> straight. It's backwards. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, I can't get this. I don't know why. Anyway, here it is. Clarifying shampoo. So we're going to use that tomorrow. And we will show you the finished product. All right. Thanks for coming with us. Have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Bye.